Hey everyone, it's Sevi. Chief Justice Monsieur Nivellette is finally here and ready to declare us guilty of spending all our primos to get him. This water sommelier has a unique mode of unleashing his hydro power that I'm sure a lot of players will enjoy. So to help you out, this guide will discuss how he works, his constellations, best artifact and weapon builds, and team synergies along with gameplay tips to better maximize his kit. Let's get into it. Let the mighty be humbled! Nivellet is an on-field Hydro DPS that loads a lot of his damage into his Water Cannon Charged Attack with an HP Scaling Kit and built-in HP Draining and Self-Healing capabilities. For a kit that's pretty simple, his gameplay is quite a blast. And since Hydro is the backbone of many elemental reactions and team templates, Nivellet will have a lot of team archetypes to fit in thanks to his fairly good amount of Hydro application. First, let's take a look at how his talents work together. Nivellet's skill deals HP scaling hydro damage to opponents in an AoE and can trigger a Numa hit once every 10 seconds. Upon hitting an enemy, three source water droplets are also generated, which lasts for 15 seconds on the field, which can only be absorbed by using Nivellet's charged attack. If you've seen Hydro Traveler in action, these droplets will look very familiar, and in fact, he can technically absorb the Traveler's droplets as well. Then we have his burst, which also deals HP scaling AoE hydro damage in one wave, followed by two weaker waterfalls, which generates six more droplets. Nivellet's skill and burst are very straightforward abilities that remind us of the importance of staying hydrated, but their droplet generation is essential to maximizing his enhanced charged attack, which is the main focus and damage source of his kit. Charging Nivellet's attack takes around 4 seconds to complete the seal and reach the enhanced charged attack. However, he can absorb up to 3 droplets nearby to drastically speed up the charging time. Once fully charged, he unleashes its full potential in the form of a powerful water cannon that lasts for 3 seconds and continuously deals HP scaling damage every 0.5 seconds. You also don't need to continue holding the attack button anymore once he's blasting away, which is a nice little convenience. Nivellet's HP self-draining and healing mechanics come into play here as well. Each droplet absorbed will heal 16% of his max HP, and if Nivellet's HP is higher than 50% during his charged attack, he will lose 8% HP every 0.5 seconds. With this, he can easily sustain his own health while also triggering HP-related effects like the Mario Chaussee Hunter artifact set and his signature weapons passive. The droplets also have a fairly good range for absorption. You can see in this test clip that Nivellet was still able to absorb them despite being a bit far. Some enemies might be quite mobile though, so it's best to time or position Nivellet's droplet generation to be close enough during his charged attack. While Nivellet is preparing or unleashing his hydro pump, you'll be locked into this camera angle but are able to aim and float around. You can even float on water if you can't be bothered to swim. Repositioning his cannon and drenching multiple enemies efficiently is a great way to maximize its AOE or you can move out of the way of enemy attacks. Unfortunately, Nivellet doesn't gain extra interruption resistance in this state at C0, which is probably the most noticeable nuisance of his kit. Heavy stagger attacks, especially from bosses, can interrupt him if he has no shield or interruption resistance buffs, which can cut his hydro pump short and affect his damage output. You can sprint to cancel the animation and iframe attacks, but that would also mean lost damage. There are some ways to address this, which we'll discuss more later on. Moving on to his passive talents, for Nivellet's Ascension 1 passive, when a hydro-related reaction is triggered by anyone in the party, Nivellet gains a stack of past Draconic Glories. Each stack increases his charge attack damage by a certain amount. Here are some important notes on this damage stacking mechanic. The damage increase is not additive to damage bonuses, but rather it's a separate multiplier similar to Yoimiya's skill. For example, if his total charge attack does 100,000 damage at 0 stacks, then having 3 stacks will give a 160% multiplier, turning that into 160,000 damage. Regarding the stacking mechanics, a stack can only be triggered per unique Hydro reaction. And if the same reaction is triggered more than once, even with different characters, the duration will only be refreshed, but no new stack is added. To help track this, there's a visual indicator which are the rings above the character. The number of rings correspond to how many stacks you currently have. Stacks can also be triggered from on-field or off-field by any party member and even on enemy elemental auras. Since the stacks last 30 seconds, they essentially become a permanent bonus as long as you keep doing rotations. Overall, his A1 passive is impactful to his damage and it rewards the various elemental reactions Hydro can enable or trigger. Moving on, Nivellet's Ascension 4 passive gives him 0.6% Hydro damage bonus based on every 1% current HP 
HP, he has over 30%. This maxes out at 30% damage bonus, which is at 80% HP. As he does his charge attack, you can expect his damage bonus to decrease since his charge attack also consumes HP unless you're healing him by means other than his droplets. It's another damage-oriented passive that leans into his dynamic HP mechanics. And for his exploration passive, Nuvelet gives a 15% increase to your underwater sprint speed for faster traversal. Since his damage is primarily loaded into his charge attack, you'll want to prioritize leveling his normal charge attack talent first, followed by his burst and skill which you can level equally. Now that we've discussed Nuvelet's base kit, let's go over what Nuvelet's team rotations will typically look like. Although most of Nuvelet's damage comes from his charged attack, it's still important to burst every rotation to generate as many droplets as possible. Given his burst cost of 7D and particle generation, he will usually need two skills in a rotation to recharge his burst. When you use his skills in burst, it is technically flexible since the droplets last for 15 seconds anyway. But prior to doing his charge attack, you'll want to set up team buffs. While he's on field, you can do consecutive charge attacks depending on how many droplets are available, but if his team buffs or abilities are about to expire or need refreshing, or you need to generate more particles, you'll want to cycle through his teammates again then switch back to Nivellet once your setup is ready again. In general, just be conscious of the duration of your team's buffs or abilities so you can craft a rotation that will maximize their uptime and Nivellet's on-field attacks. Now let's take a look at Nuvelet's constellations to see what they have to offer and their value. C1 immediately lets Nuvelet obtain one stack of his A1 passive upon switching in and it increases his resistance to interruption during his charged attack. The instant one stack will be very useful if you're using him on teams that can only trigger two hydro reactions as he can now reach the maximum damage buff for a significant personal damage boost. Whereas the significant quality of life benefit is the resistance to interruption bonus which lets you worry less about losing damage from getting staggered and makes his team comps more flexible by letting you rely less on a shielder or interruption resistance buffing teammate. I compared his resistance before and after activating C1 and the difference was night and day as he could now effortlessly withstand heavy attacks that previously staggered him. For an extreme example, he took the Geo Bishop's entire 3 hit heavy combo without getting phased. That's either infinite interruption resistance or at least near infinite which is a huge improvement. All in all, his C1 is a very good early constellation that I'd recommend as his best early stopping point. C2 makes his A1 passive also stack crit damage with each draconic stack to a maximum of 42% crit damage. This adds on nicely to C1 as a personal damage boost. C3 increases his normal and charge attack talent, which is another good damage bump. This is a second stopping point for those who are blowing much more primos on Nivellet constellations as the next meaningful boost will be his C6. C4 lets Nivellet generate water droplets if he gets healed while on field, though it can only trigger every 4 seconds. Though it has a small quality of life benefit, the trigger cooldown does limit its utility and the extra droplets are somewhat unnecessary since his default droplet generation is already enough for his typical rotations. Though once you have a C6, it can get a bit more use. C5 increases his burst talent. And finally, C6 will make the water droplets absorbed, extend the duration of his hydro pump by 1 second each, and add adjacent smaller hydro pumps also counted as charged attacks, basically even more damage and blasting time. However, this has the potential to increase his field time by a lot depending how you play him, so it can affect how his team rotates to refresh and maintain their buffs and abilities. All in all, he has some good early constellations, especially in his C1, which is good news for those ready to spend a bit more for him. If you're choosing between his early constellations or a signature weapon, I'll get back to that at the end of his weapons section. Moving on to Nuvelet's build, let's start with his artifact stats. The most straightforward and generally best route is to go with an HP Sands, Hydro Damage Goblet, and Crit Circlet that lets you achieve a good crit ratio. If you're stacking a lot of damage bonuses or crit from other sources, you can switch out either the Goblet or Circlet for HP, especially if they have better substats. However, do not switch both to HP at the same time. Then for substats, stack crit and HP rolls and hit your desired energy recharge or ER target. His ER will vary based on his teammates and weapon, but here are some ER benchmarks for reference. Take note that having Favonius users on the team will help reduce his ER target, and if Nuvelet is on a high refinement prototype Amber or an R1 signature weapon, he can already get by with around 110-120% to 120 ER in most teams. Then for his artifact sets, Nuvelet's best in slot is the 4-piece Marechaussee Hunter by a significant margin as most of his damage comes from his charged attack and he can innately trigger its crit rate stacking condition. Just make sure to account for the crit rate bonus when balancing your crit stats. After the 4-piece Hunter, the 4-piece Heart of Depths is his next best full set for 
its hydro damage and charged attack bonuses. Some alternatives include Four Piece Retracing Bolide, Wanderer's Troop, and Nymph's Dream. But unless you already have these sets ready to go, you can just spend your resin farming a Four Piece Hunter set and use your strong box pieces for other sets. And while you're working towards a good full set, you can temporarily use two piece to piece combos of Hunter, HP, or Hydro Damage since these give you more flexibility for good substats until you secure a good four piece hunter set. Now let's move on to Nivellet's best weapons from free to play to 5 star options. With him being an HP scaling unit, his best choices are more limited to those with HP, crit, and in situational conditions, ER stats. Let's start with free to play options. The craftable prototype Amber is Nivellet's most recommended free to play 4 star and default option. The team healing is helpful for sustaining other units, especially if you're running a no healer team, and the energy gain helps a lot with his energy needs. It's worth R5ing to get the maximum energy refund, which will lower his actual ER stat requirement to a very manageable number. Another okay free-to-play option will be the new free event weapon, Ballad of the Boundless Blue, which comes with an ER substat and normal and charged attack buff. If you've built a thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, you can use that for its HP substat, but I wouldn't recommend leveling it just for him since with either of these weapons, investing in a prototype Amber will be a worthwhile upgrade. For more 4-star options, if you're a Battle Pass buyer, the Sacrificial Jade is Nivellet's best 4-star choice. At max refinement, it's actually very competitive with an R1 of his 5-star signature weapon, which will take time, but if you regularly buy the BP anyway, then you'll get it eventually. You may also be wondering about the Wid Sith since it's typically a highly rated catalyst, but on Nivellet, only the damage bonus buff will be universally useful for him, which is a 1 out of 3 chance, and the EM buff is only applicable in some teams where he's reliant on triggering reactions. As such, it'll generally serve as a crit damage stat stick with inconsistent performance. In extremely situational energy hungry or particle deficient scenarios, you can use Favonius codex to give him a big ER boost and battery your entire team to address energy needs. Then for his 5-star options, his signature weapon Tome of the Eternal Flow is his best weapon, providing a massive crit damage stat, HP and charge attack bonuses, and energy restoration, which are all useful for Nivellet. At least it's currently running alongside the very good staff of Homa, and it becomes a transferable crit damage stat stick catalyst down the line, so it's not a bad weapon banner to pull on. Otherwise, you can choose among other crit or HP 5-star weapons if you already have them and aren't getting the Sacrificial Jade or don't want to craft a prototype Amber. If you really want to invest in Nivellet and are choosing between his weapon and his early constellations, getting his signature weapon can be competitive with getting his C2 with the benefits of being transferable and having an earlier guarantee. Also, it's really good drip. Alternatively, getting his C1 and Sacrificial Jade will also be competitive, which requires less pulls but needs a battle pass, so you at least have a few options based on your saving or spending. Finally, let's discuss Nivellet's team comps. Hydro is essential to so many reactions, which makes Nivellet a potential core unit for many team templates. But first, let's start with some general pointers about his particular synergies and teammate considerations. Many of Nivellet's teams will naturally maximize his A1 passive stacking buff, which requires triggering unique Hydro reactions. However, you don't have to force getting 3 stacks from his A1 passive, as even teams that only trigger 2 Hydro reactions can still perform very well. As an HP scaling DPS, attack buffs will be useless on him, while damage bonus buffs and hydro related buffs are more valuable for boosting his damage. That said, attack buffs can still help other attack scaling teammates he's comped with, so there can still be team-wide benefits for attack buffing effects. Crowd control in your team can be very beneficial to help group enemies for Nivellet's charged attack, and it's definitely a satisfying feeling if you do so. For Animo units, Kazuha and Venti are the best options for their strong suctions and of course double as VV shredders. Teams with cryo units can also help Nivellet freeze enemies to group and keep them in place. Since Nivellet can heal himself, he's very self-sustaining making him non-reliant on healers. He might instead prefer shielders or interruption resistance buffers, especially if you don't have his C1 to make his gameplay more smooth and comfortable. As for Hydro teammates, the biggest downside is having another Hydro occupy the team slot and reducing Nivellet's A1 stacking potential since that limits your team's elemental variety. However, a Hydro teammate offers Hydro resonance to boost your team's HP, which Nivellet wants, and generates more Hydro particles to help battery Nivellet and greatly reduce his ER needs. His most recommended Hydro teammates as of now would be Sing Cho, Yelan, and Mona who all have their own individual benefits as well. You're probably going to think that Sing Cho or Yelan's bursts will be wasted since
since Nivellet does charge attacks instead of normal attacks, which is understandable. While it's true you won't be able to fully maximize their burst procs as much since Nivellet spends most of his time doing his charge attacks, you can still weave in normal attacks from teammates and between Nivellet's charge attacks so that Singcho or Yelan can still contribute damage and apply extra hydro if needed. As long as you consider these pointers when choosing his teammates, his teams can end up being relatively flexible with various reaction templates. Let's go through them. Taser teams are based on the Electro Charge reaction, and here you'd want to comp him with one or two Electro units, which unlocks the Electro Resonance. As a special mention, Beidou is a great Electro teammate for him as she provides an interruption resistance buff to the active unit, and Nivellet can continuously trigger her chain lightning with his charged attack. Then for the fourth slot, a VV equipped animal unit is best to shred both Hydro and Electro resistance for more damage, but other flex units are fine. In a freeze team, use one or two cryo units that will provide consistent off field cryo application, and preferably an animal unit to shred hydro and cryo resistance. Nivellet's charge attack AoE comes in really handy here for applying hydro and freezing multiple enemies. Freeze them close to one another so that Nivellet can easily damage them simultaneously while they're in place. For a vaporized team, the best template is to comp him with Bennett and Shangling similar to the national template. The fourth slot is flexible enough depending on what you need. Since Shangling wants your active character close to the enemy, that might put Nivellet more at risk of being interrupted without a defensive slot. If Nivellet is a solo hydro unit, the vaporized trigger can fluctuate between him and Shangling depending on your setup, but either way is fine since they'll both do a lot of damage. For Denjo teams, Nivellet can drive a Hyper Bloom team template very well since he has good AoE Hydro application. He generates cores with a Denjo unit, and a compatible Electro unit will trigger Hyper Bloom. As a special mention, Raiden becomes a very effective Hyper Bloomer as she can apply Electro from a far safer distance, unlike Cookie's Ring which needs to be close enough to the cores. The fourth flex slot can be whatever defensive or offensive unit that doesn't disrupt the hyperbloom process. You can also add a cryo unit, which will make this into a freeze and hyperbloom combo, or hyperfridge as it's often called. Nivellet also becomes yet another good addition for Nilu Bloom teams, ideally in a double hydro double dendro template so that core generation is consistent. Though, because of the self damage, having a dedicated team healer becomes more advisable. Additionally, while his main stats stay the same, EM substats and team buffs become more useful to Nivellet in this team since he'll also trigger bloom reactions. If you want to just flood the battlefield, you can play a mono hydro team, comping Nivellet with Singcho for the defensive utilities, another of the aforementioned hydros, plus a VV equipped animo to buff. Sure, you only get one stack of his A1, but why not embrace the wetness, right? And that's it for this Nivellet guide. I find his kit delightfully simple yet satisfying, and playing around with this hydro pump is the most fun I've had testing out a character in a while. Not to mention, his damage is very impressive. But I'm curious to know what you think of his gameplay, so let me know in the comments, especially if you did his character trial or already pulled a copy of him. I would love to know. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all soon. Take care!